Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And it looks like very strongly, actually, I'm very confident when I say that according to what T-Mobile said at the earnings call, the Sprint integration is going to be done. They're going to migrate the last percentage of Sprint customers over the next several months. And then it looks like that's going to be it. So there is an acceleration there happening, 100%. They are accelerating that. If you guys remember the Sprint Forward announcement, it had a timeline on it, and that timeline ran into like the next next year, middle of next year, in terms of completely decommissioning all of the Sprint programs and the billing system and everything. It looks like they're going to be able to accelerate that within this calendar year still. That includes moving over customers or entire accounts. It, of course, the billing system is already being integrated. They made that announcement earlier in the year. Um, Sprint customers get to keep their same plan. So that's, that's not changing. But to complete that migration, this year still would be, a, would be big for T-Mobile. And they also said the decommissioning and the Sprint keep sites would also still be completed this year. And that's why they are accelerating the capital investment. They, they increased the capital investment by another $100 million, uh, yesterday at the earnings call. And they are sticking to the script. M not much has changed. The story is still the same. They're, they're forecasting a guidance that's usually very conservative. That's just a T-Mobile way. And they under-promise and over-deliver in most cases. In this case could be potentially by several months ahead of time on the decommissioning and the migration being done, period. So great article from Fierce Wireless. I will leave it in the description down below. As you see the title, Sprint Integration at T-Mobile Proceeds Without a Hitch, unless you're the CWA. The CWA, the union, they don't really like all the job, job cuts and losses, which I completely agree with. They cut plenty of uh, dealers on Metro. They cut, you know, they closed a bunch of stores. They laid off almost 20,000 employees, which, by the way, should have been anticipated. There were a lot of redundant positions when this merger happened. So they should have anticipated losses. When they said during the merger trial that they would be net positive day one on jobs, we all knew that was going to be a lie. So just on redundant positions alone. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I will leave this article in the description for you guys to check out. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Follow my social media outlets. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.